hey guys welcome back to my channel um i know i haven't made a video in forever so i'm back with another video um so today we are going to be cooking so i have good food here so i have a recipe that we're gonna do um shout out to good food they did send me this to make some content so that's what i'm doing so we are making today we are making a 10 minute creamy brown butter sage and garlic tortellini with crisp radish and celery salad i honestly don't really like radish so but i'm still gonna cut it because i don't know if anyone in my family wants it so it sounds fire and it only takes 10 minutes to do so let's get to it so it comes with this bag with all the ingredients and they're all fresh ingredients this is which is awesome so let's see what we have so we have the I'll look at the ingredients to make this we have some baby greens which is a mix of a bunch of stuff there is tortellini three cheese tortellini that sounds fire i love pasta if you know me i love pasta my favorite food italian food mexican food and japanese sushi i love sushi and we have a celery it's funny how it's just like this um i think this is parmesan or i'm not sure but this there's this there's some greens i think this is sage there's some radishes they gave me two of these guys then we have some minced garlic and then there's some fragrant lively garlic and oregano spices um there's vinegar and there's this other stuff oh there's heavy cream awesome so let's start cutting and maybe boiling the pasta so let's see what it says first it serves two to four people so this is i need a medium pot a large pan strainer oil four eight tablespoons of butter salt and pepper the first says to bring a medium pot of salted water to a boil, cut the radishes into half inch wedges, thinly slice the celery crosswise on an angle, pick the sage leaves off the stems, thinly slice the leaves. So we're going to do that for the first step. Okay, so I have my water here. I'm going to boil it on the stove and then let's cut my radishes and celery and sage leaves so i'm going to do this angle so you guys can see how i cut so i'm going to use my cassine art cassine art cassine art i don't know how to pronounce it i'm going to use this knife oops i'm going to use this knife to cut the radishes so it says in a small i'm going to cut the edges off what's well, it looks like they don't remove the skin so I'm just cutting these into wedges. They kind of look like apple wedges. I, I'm not sure how thin to do it, but I'm just gonna cut them. Oops. Also guys, update, I got a new puppy. He's not here right now. I put him in this crate upstairs because it's only me by myself and I can't really supervise him without with cooking at the same time. So I'll show you him another time. Another video. I don't know how you guys are doing. I know I haven't posted in a while, but give me like some video ideas and what you guys like. I know I was supposed to make the same video. I totally forgot about that. I've been so busy. I've literally been so busy with school and work. Well, work, school, mostly school. And then I got the new puppy. I literally got him last week. And yeah, he's been a lot. So just trying to do my schoolwork, my UGC and everything with him. Anyway, so I got the radish is done, as you can see. Now it says for celery, thinly crosswise. I'm pretty sure it means this, so just like this way. So, I don't know how much celery, or I guess all of this, but.
one hour later. Okay, awesome. So I got all my oh, you don't really see it. I got all my celery here. Oops. I got all my celery. I got all my I'm just gonna leave them on the cutting board because less dishes to wash, you know. So I have radishes, celery, and also to pick the it says pick the sage leaves off the stems, then they slice the leaves. So so I guess just oops. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's cool how they give you literally the exact amount for what to cook and for how many servings because then you won't have any leftovers and waste. So. And today, just the three of us eating, it starts two to four, but it's just me, my brother, and my mom. So the three of us is going to have this yummy dinner tonight. Okay, so I have the leaves. So now I just have to cut them. So let me move this aside a bit so you guys can see. I'm just gonna like cut them. It says to thinly slice the leaves. I pretty much got it. I don't, I don't want it to be too like. Anyway, so I have the leaves, I have the radish, and I have the celery. So now I'm just waiting for the boil or the water to boil, and then I'm just gonna pop in the pasta, and then what does it say? Add the pasta to the boiling pot of boiling water, stir gently to separate. Boil, stirring occasionally four to six minutes until al dente. I don't know what that means, but reserving half cup of cooking water, double for four por portions, so I probably need one cup. Drain and toss with a drizzle of oil to prevent sticking. So that's my next step. Okay, so I plopped the pasta in there, and now I'm going to start with the next thing on the item, which is making the sauce. So it says make the sauce number three. Uh, meanwhile, in a large plant pan, heat four tablespoons of butter, double for four portions. On medium high, cook swirling the pan off. Oh, cook swirling the pan often, two to three minutes until the butter foams and turns a deep golden brown. Add the garlic and sage. Be careful as it can splatter. Cook stirring frequently, thirty seconds to a minute until fragrant. Add the cream and half the reserved cooking water. Bring to boil. Reduce the heat to simmer. Okay, so I put the butter in. It's actually a lot of butter, but it's double the portion. So I just gotta stir this and wait till it's like golden brown. Okay, so it's now time to add the garlic and the sage into the butter. So I can't even hold it. So I'm just gonna add that into the mixture. Add that. And the butter and garlic, mmm, fire. I'm actually so fire. So I'm also gonna put in, it says, and the sage too. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm just gonna grab it and add it into here. As you can see, the garlic and the um, butter is in there. Guys, this smells so good. Okay, time to add the cream and then the cup of um, pasta water into the dish. Here's the cream. Ooh, that looks so good. And then I'm going to put the cup of water and give it a stir. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm actually starving right now. So I'm gonna munch this. Okay, while that's simmering, I'm gonna make the salad, so um it says combine the vinegar two tablespoons of oil double for portions the remaining spices oh actually never mind i can't skip a step but i'm gonna put the greens in here already just so that's ready actually a lot of salad. Oops. 
So here's the greens, and I'm pretty sure. Yep, celeries and radishes are also going in here. Radishes are also going in here. So I'm just gonna put everything in the bowl. Oh, it should expire. Okay. Look. Oop, I don't want to spill it, but fire. Then I have to add just the garnishes and all the rest of the spices and the vinegar and stuff. Let me taste it. Okay, so I just dumped the pasta in here. So now I'm stirring it. And I gotta add the other spices in here. So I put the spices, I put three quarters of the spices in it and I was mixing it. And oh my gosh, it looks like heaven. Now half of the cheese is in. And put all the um, rest of the spices and the vinegar on this. Also got my llama, my salt and pepper. I already put that in there. Guys, this looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't want to even eat it because I don't even want to eat it because it looks so good. Okay, so time to mix a salad and then plate my food because I'm starving. I don't really like mixing salads. It's kind of hard. Unless you have like, you know, those containers and they go, but in this case, kind of difficile. Anyways, that's like the most I can make it. So I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get my plate and take this. Oh my gosh, guys, look how yummy this is. Time to eat, cause I'm starving. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna eat because I'm starving. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Two time, baby girl, you know me.